What's up, Darksiders? Dave H. Darkside Kennels. So I'm doing a quick video. I'm cleaning. Got the household tour part. I'm going through everything, cleaning all this shit up. Let's see if they ruined this already. I didn't ruin it yet. I'll just show you the puppy. Four weeks old. Going on five weeks. So blue one's female. What's up, mama? I haven't even, I haven't even cleaned, the, cleaned the thing yet. I just mopped the floor underneath and put a, a pad down. Now I gotta take the bleach and spray and spray and wipe down the, all inside of the box. Cause like they step and stuff and then they smear it all over the side of the box. So, get ready to do that. And then, then I've already mopped over here and all this shit. And then I gotta clean that cage and move all this shit. A lot of moving around, stuff like that today. Re reconfigure in the room. She's a happy puppy though, man. She's always wagging her tail. He's a little more grumpy, but she's like 100 miles an hour wagging that tail. What's up? What's up? He's a little, he's getting there though. What are you doing, mama? Yep, so. We're doing good. No complaints. Um. Got the puppy getting picked up right before Christmas, which I ain't too happy about, but it is what it is. I mean, the guy can't get here in time, he can't get here, I guess, but it's part of the business that sucks, you know. It's like I gotta work around everybody else's schedule, which I don't really appreciate. It's gonna change though. It's gonna change. Um like I said, I'm working around here inside, outside the house. I'm just trying to tighten my place up. Um, I went and stopped, checked on the RV yesterday. They're, they're, they had it running and they're all that. They just got to work on a distributor, put a cap and motor on it. And I think I'm in the ignition module getting that worked on. Uh, the puppies, I got them totally off jazz. I'm just feeding them straight food. They're eating good. No problems. Um, Jazz is up for adoption if somebody wants her. She doesn't have to go. I'm just saying, if somebody wants a dog for free and can't, you know, can afford to feed a dog, but can't afford a thousand dollars or more for a bully. If you want a dog that's fixed already as a pet, give me a call and I can hook you up. 803-504-9447. Um, I'm just trying to get a lot of work done around here. You know, start painting and stuff and get this place looking like something. In between working and doing a plumbing, I've done a couple of plumbing jobs the last couple of days, so at least I got something, you know, starting to come back around. Um, once I get my marketing straight, then I'll be probably, I'll be good to go once the marketing gets fixed. I'm working on that too. I'm on Google's ass hard. Google really fucked me, man. Google really fucked me bad. Let me tell you. They took my they took my page down for no reason whatsoever. I don't, they did it to my accountant too. My accountant had the same problem. I don't know what the hell Google's doing or what they think they can do. Cut it out! But, uh, yeah, so I've got one female left. It, if uh, She's for sale. It's the, the form with the black mask. If she doesn't go, I'm just going to keep her and breed her. So, if somebody wants her, you give me a call. If not, I'm not even worried about it no more. Um, both females look like they're they're pregnant. They're starting to, to act different, show signs, little by little. Um, so we got dual champion Aries bred the blue. We got Sandy bred the He Man, and he's a triple champ. And uh, I'm hoping to get good stuff out of that. I'm keeping picks out of that. Then anything second pick down is for sale. Um, I don't know if we're going to keep pick male out of, out of both litters. I doubt it. Pick females are coming with me. First pick female each litter is coming with me. Because I, I need females anyway. Because I only got two. So. Um, but we'll see. You know, until they, until they're here and you see them and they're 10 weeks old, you don't know what you're going to do. I'm taking two deposits on each litter. 
$1,000 deposit for, for per pup. Pups are 4K. Price is not going to go down. If I don't sell them, I'm just going to keep them. I'll get rid of my older dogs and I'll keep the puppies. Um, I'm, I'm just tired of playing this hamster wheel with uh, you guys out there and, uh, you know, with, with the whole community. Uh, like, I'm, I'm just, I'm like over it, you know what I mean? You guys want to keep doing it, do it, but I'm not going to say it. Keep, you know, dropping prices, taking losses. It's like, these, like I said, after these two breedings, and I'm not trying to be negative, so don't start that shit. I'm just saying, after these two breedings, if I don't, if I don't make the money I think I should make off these litters to, to put back into the kennel, I'm not even doing it. I mean, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I'll breed for myself, but it'll be once in a blue moon. It won't be, you know what I mean? It won't be like it is now. I mean, I just, I don't have time for this shit. It's like, it's a waste of, you know, if I'm not doing it, if I'm not, if I'm not profiting off of it, there's no reason to do it. Because I need the money to sustain the dogs. Okay? It's, if it's going to keep coming out of my pocket, I don't need to do it. I can keep a couple of pets and say, fuck it. I don't need to do it. So... But I'm going to continue to show. Cut it out. I'm going to continue to show and all that. So we'll see where the show thing goes. Maybe maybe that will help me. I don't know. Maybe it will. Who, who knows what's going to happen. You know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So I'm going to go out, show this year, see what they think of my dogs, and we'll take it from there. But um, I'm hoping that Sasha comes in into heat in the next month or so, and then I can get her her invader over to the repro vet, do a surgical on her, whatever I got to do to get her knocked up. Because I got people lined up that want Vader puppies. I mean, I got lined up, I got like five, six people want puppies. She might not even have five, six puppies. I mean, I'm just trying to get her pregnant, period. I mean, breeding borbles is a lot harder than breeding boys, I can tell you that. You know, especially when, uh, Especially when they're, you know, they're giving birth. Because when they try to, like, take the sack off and they try to chew the cord and all that, they'll yank, they'll yank it, you know. And then they end up giving the damn puppy hernia and everything else. So you got to be there on point and cut, cut that shit. You know what I mean? And clamp it. Because otherwise, you get, they can get an umbilical hernia from the, from the mother yanking on it too hard. But I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, like I said, I'm just out here grinding around the house, waiting for hoses to thaw out so I can go do kennels and all that shit. And, uh, you know, springtime, I hope to start doing some, you know, upgrades. I mean, if I get the money in time for the tree guy for, for January, I'll have the trees cut like I said I was going to. And then have them do the stone afterwards, but, uh, yeah. Money has to be coming in to get shit done. So, I have a hard enough time getting people to pay for the dogs. So, you know, it just comes a time where you got to say, okay, is this really worth doing? You know, is it, is it, am I just like beating a dead horse or what? You know? So, I'm just doing a lot of reflecting and thinking about it and seeing how it goes. And, like I said, I'm not going to quit breeding. I'm just not going to breed for the public. If the public doesn't want my stuff, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. You know, it doesn't make any sense. If people don't want good dogs and don't want to pay for them, what am I doing it for? It doesn't make any sense. I'm just not beating myself up for anybody anymore. I'm just going to do my thing. You know I mean, I'm not going to chase people. People call me, they call me. They don't talk to me, they don't talk to me. I'm, I'm all that kind of shit, you know, how people, you know, will talk to you for a while, then you'll hear from them at all, and they, or they write you off, or they ghost you, all that kind of shit, don't bother me, really, because I I grew up alone, so I'm not a big, I'm not a big f fan of big crowds and all that horse shit anyway, but, um, you know, some people are here for a reason, some people are only here for a season, so, I don't really fucking worry about it, to me, it's always been about the dogs, not, not always other horse shit, Who's doing what? Who's screwing who? Who's, you know, ripping people off? 
I could care less. I'm not ripping nobody off. I'm giving good quality stuff for good price. And if people want to buy them, they'll buy them. If they don't, they won't. But the dogs are doing good. Puppies are doing good. Everything's going okay. So I can't really complain, you know. And I'm not complaining. I'm just stating the facts. You know, things are going pretty good. You know, and the business, plumbing business is starting to look up. And uh, I figure by April I'll be back full tilt, balls to the walls, making money again, doing my thing. You know, 2024 will, will be the, the recoup year. You know, it'll be the year where I get back in the game on the plumbing thing and kill it and make some money and put some money away and buy my land I want to buy and so forth. So that's where we're headed with that for 2024. I'm going to buy a spot, whether it's got a house on it or not. If I don't have a house on it, I'll live in the RV for a year if I have to on, on the land, put the kennels on there, live there, and then have a damn modular built, whatever I got to do. But I'm going to get what I want because I always do. So you all have a good day. Hope all your litters are doing good. Hope dogs are doing good. And uh, just keep grinding because there ain't no plan B. Remember that. Just got to keep moving forward. Forward. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.